Welcome to Johnny Arcade. If you just watched my the reading right before this, or whenever you watched that, when I, when I scribed with the dice, um, as I was putting it away and the camera was already shut off, I saw it evolve. So this reading might be about evolution. This reading might be about evolution. Of someone who believes in evolution versus, uh, you know, the Bible. I mean, I could comprehend why people would believe that that's true, but I can also have so much more supporting evidence that it's not. Especially since, you know, according to the Bible, when God created all the animals and everything before he created man, like, they were here first, which means he created gorillas and monkeys, you know, before he even created us. receiving new information that whole thing can change but until then it seems pretty legit all right god goddess mother earth mother nature gaia source universe yeshua all the ascended masters angels and the saints all beings of light and love harmony and peace I ask that you hear through my ears, see through my eyes, speak through my mouth, work through my hands, and dance through my feet as I channel these messages. Please allow them to be accurate. Please ward off any attacks of the enemy, spells, curses, hexes, uh, voodoo, attachments, assignments, including all backups and replacements. I ask that you break them free right now, O oh Lord, and send them straight to your feet for you to do with as you will. Replace them with abundant blessings. I ask that you place a hedge of protection above, below, and all around me, Lord Yeshua, and protect this reading, my consciousness, my spirit, my soul, my body, from any outside attacks of the enemy. I ask that you send your warrior angels down from heaven, your guardian angels down from heaven, to ward off these attacks and to Continue to guide us in your light, O oh Lord. Place a blue flame of protection from St. Michael the Archangel around this hedge. Please and thank you, Ashe, and so it is. Amen. Alright. Let's see. We got the Nine of Candles. That's the Wands. Things coming to light. Nine of presents, so we got nine, nine, two, nine, nine. You got the two of potions. Okay. Let's see. Someone trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Someone trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. They got the heart for it, though. That's like someone's passionate about something. About getting their, their bag back. They're going to get a gift. The gift is coming for whoever this is. We've got, whoa, we've got the nine of candles, the nine of presents, and the nine of potions in reverse. So we got nine, nine, nine. That changes things a little bit here. Yeah, this person is focusing on what they have. Again, dollar out of 15 cents. This person might have lost what they had, but they're working with what they have. Starting over. I'm getting starting over here. But starting to see the fruits of their labor manifest. Evolution. They're evolving. God puts us in these situations. We make choices. There are consequences or blessings, depending on how you like to look at it, that we can either fall victim to or overcome.
And of course, these are the tests that he put us through to make sure we become the best version of ourselves. But if we fail at these things, and again, the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. He tests us to see what we'll do next. What we'll do next. Well, we'll okay, he's advanced from that. It's like Legend of Zelda, right? You learn a new skill. What are you going to do with it now? Oh, yeah, now I can access an area that I never even, it's completely brand new because you were denied access to there before. You didn't have the raft. You didn't have the ladder to get up to that ledge. You didn't have the raft to cross the water. You didn't have the, you know, the bridge or whatever wasn't built. Those types of things. And now as you get more tools, as you pass the tests, you're able to continue on with your journey. Someone is like not continuing on with the journey. at the sun but yeah they're they're this person in particular has they see the light they are doing it right right maybe in the past they failed to learn from the lessons but the lessons thing wasn't what this person's going through that was just like when these when we're tested right this person is learning and growing and glowing and just keeps it up and Ooh, we got the moon in reverse. Someone's just coming to realize like what they're up against. It, again, they might have lost everything. It might have been due to lies, deceit, betrayal. But they're like, <laughs> now they're like laughing it off. Like... They realize, again, that those were lessons to be learned. Queen of Candles. You see, when someone inflicts some sort of pain on you, they're trying to gain control over something. They're trying to get you to submit to something. You know, if it's emotional pain, they get they say things to make you feel bad. Um, like with the intention of making you feel bad, not something you need to hear and you're just having a hard time taking it. I'm talking about like literally out of nowhere, people just try to irritate you, pick a fight with you. Again, instigator vibes if you read, watch the previous reading. Um, once you pick up to that, and you just don't allow it to affect your fucking chi. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Queen of Candles. It's like, yeah, just this black cat's in reverse, you know? This black cat standing in front of a candle. This person, again, the lies, deceit. Whether people realize it or not, like, you're performing spell work. Like, you're performing magic. What's crazy is when you wake up to how many people and who does this sort of these sort of rituals and then their response once you prove to them that whatever rituals or spells they were putting on you are no longer working it really sheds a light on that cat who was trying to do candle magic in the dark and it's like all that did was illuminate what they were doing <laughs> shape of a pentagram the empress in reverse yeah this person's magic is backfiring it's only making this person more successful because they wished poverty on them they might have even stolen or contributed to this person entering this these poverty po po pover <laughs> poverted conditions <laughs> This shut out when I mentioned that, when I started mentioning that. Seven of Candles, which is similar to that Nine of Candles, but it's less candles. <laughs> this one seems more even or fair or balanced.
they also kind of have more it's more conformed you know I'm getting like when you have a fire drill at school and got to be single file line this is like first come first serve so again this person has got good balance between letting things flow and having structure this person has strong boundaries because probably because of their lives like when you wake up to that like i said you, you start to not put your guard up but you become more aware and you handle those situations differently this guy's like play a dummy catch a dummy but his intentions aren't because he wants dummies to suffer he just doesn't want to be a dummy himself he ain't no dummy mama didn't birth him a fool we got strength eight of strength in reverse person I'm getting like whoever is wishing ill will on this person trying to again take from their cup leaving them with nothing is a bully and this person's like aware of the bully and so now like a spiritual bully a mental bully verbally abusive bully could be physically abusive bully but it just made this individual stronger and then they know you know they can't see a bully from a mile away this person could be sober at this time page of potions maybe that's one of the maybe for a long time this person resorted to alcohol to kind of mask the pain of this family dynamic it's like someone that you hate to love feel like you have to love this person because they raised you but again if they're that let's go back to that horrible manager at the job at the job right <laughs> if this person's job is to nurture you and they're that secretary that doesn't take the notes that doesn't tell people to call people back that doesn't get all the orders entered and this person has that same behavioral pattern as a mother or a parent doesn't have to be the mother they could have been turning to alcohol to escape you know from from the abuse from a young age is what I'm getting and now they're finally like you know what whether it's by uh, some sort of intervention like a spiritual intervention or physical inter intervention this person woke up to it and they've either stopped drinking on their own or God has removed them from being able to again if this person had Opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity and signs and chances and slaps on the hands to clean themselves up and they always chose to go back to the bottle to give in to the temptation. That's the devil, by the way. And then you have free will. You can't blame God for your condition now if you're in bad health or if you're broke due to an addiction. That's not God's fault. Like, God gave you God taketh away, you know, so you're, he's the reason that you had that wealth to begin with. The devil came in to test you. And what you decided, you overindulged, right? Look at this ten of potions. It's like, <laughs> that pumpkin's breath is in control, has is covering all of those cups. You've got complete control over the emotions. And Ten of Cups is usually happy, healthy home. Like, this person wants control. I'm getting, it's like the spirits. Again, the alcohol. This person was letting them, spirit, it was, it was shaping them into a bully. I'm getting like a bully waking up to the fact that they're a bully. Five of presence in reverse. That's the five of pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're waking up to this. They're snapping out of it. They probably used to blame God for 
again, being broke, being a piece of shit. This person knows they're an asshole. But again, I see them transitioning, waking up, making a change for the better, realizing that it's not their fault that they came out like this. There are a lot of things that might have been this person's fault. And this person probably learned from their abuser to never take the blame, to never take responsibility. They're like teaching that in these children's books now and teaching that in school. There's no more who, what, when, where, why, and how, which are all the requirements in order to solve a case. You know what I mean? Now it's we, they, who, what? Like, just continue to regurgitate the, the mystery so that it just always maintains mysteriousness so that it's never solved so it becomes a myth so it's always a myth it's always a legend legend has it so that 20 30 40 400 years from now that myth is all that truth it just became false it's a story it's a kid's story kids make up songs about it that's what they want mandela effect Mandela Effect. We've got the Magician in Reverse. Yep. It's not working anymore. This person is gaining control over their addiction. And again, it strongly says alcohol here. Let's see. Astro deck, what can we contribute to this? Six. Yeah, I'm getting like six pack. This person might even keep a six pack in case they want to relapse, fall off the wagon. But they're like looking at it every day and making a choice. No, I don't need it. It's there if I want it. I don't need it. Maybe I'll celebrate one day, but no. I see flicks. Someone, yeah, Netflix. Someone could be watching Netflix. Someone could be waking up to like the, I know Netflix is one of the apps that a lot of their movies and shows right now are in control of the White Hats, trying to wake people up. This person could be binge watching some Mandalorian or some shit, waking up to things that are happening in their life or happened in their past. Again, they want it to be fiction and so they, we make all these fictitious movies that have a lot of truth in them. <laughs> this person's like, wait a minute, like resonating with the characters. And they're like, the only difference between me and that person is that person can fly. <laughs> now, you know, I'm seeing Alaskan thunder fat, Alaskan thunder fuck or alcohol, alcohol tobacco firearms. That was, they were trying to prevent me from saying that. It was throat chakra blockage, interference. I see XI, X, uh, exponential intelligence. Check that out, exponential intelligence. Just by me saying that out loud and then you hearing it is exponential intelligence at work. You're now smarter than you were 30 seconds ago, okay? Your exponential intelligence is now stronger than it was 30 seconds ago. And even the 30 seconds I said it increased, the next 30 seconds it increased again just by you comprehending what I am saying about exponential intelligence. We've got how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? It's like this person is very calculated now. They were, before they were their vision was blurred, you know, this fool would never be able to do a word search or a crossword puzzle or any sort of puzzle. Now they're like able to do these things. Maybe that's why they drink to begin with. Maybe they couldn't shut off the, the logic in their brain. I'm seeing Fife, like Barney Fife. Again, it could be an irresponsible cop who's got a big position you know they could know that wrongdoings are going on but they're not saying anything which means they're enabling it which means that if you ignore evil 
you're an accomplice to it. And I see life. This person could face life if they, this truth comes out. Whatever that was, uh, screeching confirmation. Someone's name could be Ann or Anna. Someone could be a fan. A fan of some, someone could have an OnlyFans. I see fake. Someone could be fake. Facts. I see facts like facsimile. Someone could still use a fax machine. E-fax. I'm seeing e-fax. Someone could use electronic, like the email faxing situation. Someone might be submitting paperwork for something. I'm seeing Annie, the movie Annie. It's a hard knock life for this person. Oh, I have to Netflix and chill today. The struggle is real. I'm seeing After Effects, AFX. Someone could watch FX. Someone might need a fix. They're filling a void. It's a fine line between love and hate. This person can be fine. It can be a sexy woman or a handsome man going through this. Again, how many licks they, they could have used their body or their looks to get things in the past. But now they're not looking the way they used to because of this addiction. It's showing on their face, on their body. It's wearing them down. Wearing them down. I think I already did. I already did. It's good to take precaution. If you're not sure, do what's right. Don't skip steps. Birth and confirmation. Don't cut corners. Don't cry. Split or spilt milk, tears, tears something, water under the bridge, two tears in a bucket. Don't cry, spilt milk, two tears in a bucket, water under the bridge. Boo fucking who? Okay? This person's in regret, this person's sad, this person's realizing. Again, if they're realizing they're a bully, that means that if they're, they try to have a tough exterior all the time, they're probably a person crying for help on the inside. So again, hopefully this person's getting help. Hopefully they're going to, it's like they're trying to do this on their own. They're trying to fight an addiction on their own instead of turning to people who have struggled or uh, overcame this problem themselves. Like this person needs it at the very least at the very least, hit up an AA meeting. Those doors are open 24 hours a day. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can go online and find a meeting in your area, walking distance, any time of the day for the most part. If you have a vehicle, even better. Because guaranteed there's a meeting going on right now with a chair with your fucking name on it for your butt to sit in and the best worst cup of coffee you've ever had. Surrounded by like minded people who have probably done worse than you. And who knows? You, that shot out when I was thinking this. Who knows? Your story might be the one that saves someone else going through the same thing or prevent them from taking. Because some people do learn from other people's mistakes. Not everyone is a knucklehead like me and wants to learn the hard way. Sometimes when certain people hear someone else's story, you could potentially save their life because then they're put in that situation. Your face pops into their consciousness. You were that karmic angel that entered their life because of the trauma you went through. Now you're saving this person who probably empathically put themselves in your shoes when you were speaking that day and doesn't ever want to be in that situation themselves. So when they see the signs that they are 
headed in that direction, they can turn around before they, they already know it's a dead end. They see the sign that says not a through street. So there's no point in going to the fucking cul-de-sac, right? And dying. Insightful, psychic, intuitive. <laughs> Thank you. Friendship, joy, beautiful. Yeah, you might make new friends at this thing. Coward, weak, follower. Yeah. Well then, go follow people who have done it. If you're not in a position to be leading yourself, turn to mentors who are doing what you what it is you want to do successfully already. Don't go to some clinic and no one in that clinic has ever even suffered from alcohol addiction or they might all be alcoholics running the fucking place. Like they go to the bar after their meetings about, you know what I mean? Oh man, did you see that guy today? He was so drunk and he came in. I could smell the beer on his breath as they're fucking toasting, drinking fucking something on the rocks. Expansion, inspiration, creative, new birth. I'm telling you, it's never too late to do the right thing now. They should write a song about that. That was a joke. Okay, let's turn to the animals. What can you contribute to this reading? Good luck if this is you or someone that you know that is going through this right now. Maybe you could just be like, hey, you want to go on a ride with me? Take them to a meeting. Sit in there with them. Be like, I'm willing to, do you know I don't have a drinking problem. I'll still, or even if you do, maybe you have a drinking problem too, or you're enabling this person's addiction. Maybe you like drinking with this person. Maybe it would be beneficial for both of you to go in. There's a movie, I forget what it's called. I think it might be called Anonymous or something like that. Something Anonymous. But it's got James Woods, I believe. Where he's uh, an alcoholic going to through uh, alcoholism and going to AA meetings. And it's, uh, it's a good movie. Good movie. Start there. If you're still in tournament mode, want to make a change. Get some inspiration from James Woods. Yeah, tracked through glow. Right now this person is not. They are just kind of that cockroach, not that glow bug. You are about to shine. I'll claim that, but I think this person needs to, yeah, overcome their situation, man. Yeah? Like, are you in control of your addiction, or is your addiction in control of you? That means the devil got you right where he wants you, yo. You can break free at any time. You have the power to overcome that. You have the power. The fucking he-man. You're like this fucking rat. You have these fucking claws, man, and these fangs. <laughs> We've got the let go, bury. Again, those dragons and their taco sauce. Hot sauce. It's time to bury the hatchet, yo. That's a mosquito. It's like whatever's draining you, infecting you. Whatever's sucking your blood like a vampire, right? Mosquitoes are little flying, hovering fucking vampires. So what is draining you of your precious juices? Take that as a recipe. <laughs> The illusion in reverse. Yeah, this person's gaining clarity. They're waking up. They're waking up. Top of the deck. Transformation. It's time. It is time for this person 
Yay. I can't wait to see the amazing, successful, beautiful soul this person is going to become. Victory. Look at this. Victory. Shake, release, heal, move on. Ooh, it's in reverse. This person, you need to get started, yo. You hold the key. No expectations. Yeah, don't even, don't look that far ahead. Have the goal, have the dream, and then small baby steps. Like I said, hit up an NA meeting. Watch that movie before you go to an AA NA meeting, you know? But immense growth is in reverse. It might have been slow up until this point, but you'd be surprised. You get on that right track, there's going to be a snowball of success. Because again, it's transformation. Nothing good ever came easy either. So don't let the fear of failure prevent you from getting started. If anything, look at all the times you've already failed. Like, what do you have to lose? All you have to do is grow and gain. All right, I'm going to drop the mic. Peace.